Hello VC, Edwin here. Uh, super excited to be here tonight, Saturday night. And uh, very hot here tonight on Vancouver Island, so it's, it's going to be beautiful. Um, pretty pumped because the subscription rate has tripled. Three subscribers! I'm killing it! I'm killing it! Uh, but you know what, it's fun. And I've noticed a lot of people have started to watch some of the videos, so I guess that's pretty cool, right? That's what we're doing this for. So, uh, tonight... I have some uh, recent vinyl finds. I'm going to do two videos. I've got uh, some recent used and I've got some recent new purchases. So that'll be the second video because I don't want this to drag on for too long. Okay, so I got some gems in the last couple of weeks. I've got, uh, there's two used record shops in my area and there's also uh, a couple of flea markets. And um, yeah, I've managed to pick up a couple. So here's the best of the bunch. So first up, we got Cream, Israeli Gears. This is uh, First Canadian Pressing. This is on the uh, Atco label. And uh, this actually is, an, this is a pretty nice version. This is um, really clean sleeve, plays wonderful, not many snap, crackle, pops. And uh, I've wanted this for a long time. I've, I've got the, the best of Cream, but I really wanted Israeli Gears, so. I'm very happy with that one. Uh, this one, this was a great find. This is uh, the Free Willing Bob Dylan, the Free Wheeling Bob Dylan, not Willing, Wheeling. Um, this is a 1975 pressing. This thing is brand new. 1975. There's not a scratch on the vinyl or the album itself. Just a fantastic find. And uh, just love that front cover. Free Will and Bob Dylan. Very good. Uh, next we got some, uh, some Queen. Uh, News of the World. This is also a Canadian pressing. Um, this is on the Queen label that they did with uh, Elektra Records. This is the gatefold. And... Um, yeah, you know, it's in not bad condition. There's a few there's a few snap crackle pops, but it's not it's not it plays actually quite nice. And uh the cover's in great shape. One of the one of my favorite gatefolds. Very good find. Very happy with that one too. This next one, this is an this is an um uh, a CD I had in high school that I loved. I sort of got into Stevie Wonder. And this is his uh, original music Music Aquarium 1. Basically, the, the greatest hits of Stevie Wonder. This has everything on it. This is on a uh, Tamla Motown label. It's a double double album. And uh, everything from Sir Duke to Superstition. And uh, just a great Saturday night play for all the, all the big Stevie Wonder hits. I didn't know this was on vinyl, so that was an awesome find. So the next one, this is great. This is a golden earring. I think it's Naz Nomad is the big, um, the big fan of golden earring. This is cool. This is the British pressing gatefold. I'll open this one because it's very cool. This has got the great. Uh... How cool is that? So this is Moon Tan. This of course has. Uh, Radar Love on it, but this is a great album. I actually have never listened to a Golden Earring album. Um, I just know Radar Love and uh, Twilight Zone. Was that their other hit? Yeah. Um, but this is fantastic. This I love this. This is uh, sort of a uh, little bit of prog-ish sort of sound to it. In perfect condition. The vinyl's beautiful. This was a great find. I'm very happy with that. So, we continue with the Rolling Stones' Let It Bleed. This is, look at this, it's like brand new. This is an original Canadian first pressing on the London, London label with the, the blue inner circle. Um, yeah, the vinyl's perfect, the sleeve's perfect, and uh, very happy with this. This is one of my favorite Stones albums. Um, you know, so many classics on here, but I love uh, 
Midnight Rambler because every time I see the Stones, that's my favorite song live. Uh, Give Me Shelter, Let It Bleed, You Can't Always Get What You Want, Monkey Man. Such a great album. Can't go wrong with that one. Ah, I'm going to put that away now. So we get into a little, uh, little Canadian. We got uh, Neil Young, Harvest. This is in probably, you know, 6 out of 10. Good condition. It's got a few scratches on the vinyl, but it plays, it plays okay. You know, it still makes it enjoyable. Such a great album. Uh, Neil Young, probably his, you know, best, most famous album. And uh, super pumped to have that. And then to follow that, we have After the Gold Rush. This one, the cover's a little beat, but the vinyl's perfect, which is what you want, right? So, nice little one-two there from Mr. Neil Young. And then down to my last two, I'm only going to do ten. And they both come from Jimi Hendrix. This is an original 67 um, Canadian pressing in stereo of uh, Ari Experience, the Jimi Hendrix Experience. And uh, this is in all right shape. I mean, this is one year old. This is 50 years old. 50 years old. And when you look at the vinyl, it has some scratches on it, but they don't play, so it's great. And uh, the sleeve is perfect. Check that out. Very happy with that. Just a great album cover, eh? Awesome. And then my last, you know, keeping in the realm of the vinyl community, saving the, the best for last, um, I found this at a flea market. This is Attention. By Jimi Hendrix Japanese pressing and um, yeah I'd never heard of this before uh, I'm pumped because it's got some great Beatles covers on it uh, Day Tripper uh, what else does this have on it Twist and Shout not necessarily the Beatles but uh, a Stones I can't get no satisfaction uh, just actually there's a lot of covers from that sort of 60s era um, definitely yeah, giving it one side a listen and yeah it's kind of cool the vocals are a bit low it's obviously a bootleg um, but nice pickup haven't been able to find a lot about it yet on Discogs but if anybody knows anything about this album leave a comment below so yeah that's my 10 sort of uh, best finds of the last couple of weeks I'll do another one in a couple of days I've got another 10 and um, I'm gonna follow this as I said with 10 new vinyl purchases so Thank you so much, and uh, have a great Saturday. Cheers.